welcome to Mr. Otter Studio. Sorry today's video is going to be, the sound is not great, it's unedited, unfiltered. Who knows what I could say, but I had to get on and just say thank you. Thank you so much for watching Mr. Otter Studio. Thank you so much for um, creating with me. Um, through the ads that play before these videos, I've been able to donate to some amazing charities. Um, the first one that I've been able to donate to is Rising Star Outreach and they help leprosy colonies in India and mainly the children from those leprosy colonies. They have an amazing school um, with just amazing kids um, and they really give them an awesome opportunity um, to get a great education to be able to have more opportunities later on in their life. And um, then the second organization is Thanksgiving Point and it, they have just some really fun museums. We've been going there for eight years they have a dinosaur museum, which is actually a natural history museum, a butterfly biosphere, farm country, um, just a ton of really, really, a museum of curiosity, just tons of really cool things. So anyway, we are just grateful that we can donate to such good causes. And also, um, we sell paper and um, we've, we have a lot of extra paper. <laughs> so we've been able to just, during um, the COVID-19 pandemic, um, we were just kind of going around giving paper to people and watercolor supplies um, just like for their kids because kids were in school and they weren't in school and they were trying to figure out this online stuff and um, anyway, it was just really weird and I thought it would be cool just to give art supplies because what a great gift and we were able to do that because basically of this channel. So we're just so grateful for it and thankful that we can give because of it. Um, the second reason I really wanted to get on today was to tell you that we are going to be offering our children's art classes for free. Um, there, you can find them at mrotterstudio.com and maybe www. I honestly think if you just type mrotterstudio.com, it'll come up, but www.mrotterstudio.com and there are really fun lessons on there. How to make kites, how to make um, different paper airplanes that fly fast and slow, paper mache bowls, watercolor drawing, figure drawing, there's just tons of really cool things on there. Even how to make a packing tape shoe, which is really cool and really fun. And it's geared towards elementary kids, but honestly, I feel like I had tons of fun making it and even adults might really like it. So um, get on there, check it out. You might as well, you can do it for free. Just when you go to check out, use the coupon code FREE, F-R-E-E, -E, and anyone all over the whole world can use it. Um, it isn't free for me to run the website and to have it, I have it on teachable.com, but um, I think it's worth it and I'm going to use proceeds from my channel to pay for it, um, but there's also an option to pay if you want, but you definitely don't need to, it's not necessary, um, but talking about paper, I'll just bring this up really quick, this is our watercolor paper and if you buy it on Amazon, you get three paint brushes with it um, and I, I marked it down as much as I could. <laughs> Um, I am not a salesperson, but it is good paper and the watercolor brushes are amazing and what a great gift you could give someone watercolor paper and art classes and the art classes could be free, but then they could learn how to use it because there is a watercolor course, even though it's for children, you could totally use it as an adult. So um, check it out, see what you think. The links are below, but I'm just really so grateful for the opportunity to be a part of this channel. Six years ago, um, I was like, hey, I have a goal to put a video on YouTube. And my friend Amy was already doing it. And so she's like, hey, let's start a channel together. And so we did. And who knew, like, millions of people would watch those. I didn't know. Uh, I was sometimes literally was, like, in pajamas and, like, no makeup, which is pretty normal for me. But <laughs> it was, I, maybe I would have tried a little harder. I'm sorry. Even literally, my camera was hanging sometimes from, like, a string from my ceiling. You can tell in the tracing video and in some of my other videos, like the camera is kind of like moving like this because it's floating. So I didn't know. I still struggle. I have nice equipment now, but I don't, I don't like to use it. I'm not using it right now. You can tell by the sound. Um, but anyway, I didn't know, and I'm just grateful that it has been something that's been useful to people. This next year, I have some different plans. So for six years, I've kind of been doing the same thing replying to requests and trying to come up with these fun tutorials and lessons and activities. Um, totally random though, you know. Uh, I, I 
learned about YouTube and I know that you should kind of stick in a niche or like, you know, focus on something, but that's not possible for me. I just seriously can't do it. So I can't just do watercolor. I can't just dry. I can't just paint. I want to do bronze sculpture, which I've already done some stained glass. I want to get into everything that I really love. And so this next year, I'm going to be doing some children's book illustrations and stained glass and hopefully finish these bronze sculptures that I've been working on. So this next year, I'm going to kind of take you on that journey. And it's going to definitely be rough and unedited because I do not like editing videos. <laughs> so I was just going to I'll try to make this sound better and not have my camera hanging. But it's going to be a little bit rougher. But maybe for some of you that have wanted to sell your artwork or learn about bronze sculpture or illustration, um, maybe it'll be helpful for you. I hope it is. Um, but I, you know, I, I like to move and do different things. And so editing these videos has taken a lot of my time. Um, and I'm grateful that I've been able to do it. But I think it's time for me to shift gears a little bit and to start being more of an artist than a content creator. I guess you're kind of a content creator as an artist, but I, I want to move in a little bit of a di different direction. So I'll keep you updated. Um, and uh, let me know in the comments if you feel like that's a good direction or if there's still some things like, wait, I don't know how to do this. Because I still love responding to those. And I'll still maybe once a month, uh, the questions that I keep getting in tutorials, I will respond to. That's basically why I did this paper. So every comment was, what paper are you using? And I'm gonna put it so that it's not just for sale in the United States. I am not a salesman again, but I think I can figure it out on Amazon how to sell it all over the world. Because um, I tried selling it from Shopify and it ended up costing so much to ship it that I actually was paying to ship it. I wasn't making any money. So marketing, bad, not me. Um, but I also, if you're listening to this, I want to say I hope you're okay and your family and friends are doing well during this crazy time. Uh, this is something that we kind of are all going through together and there's never been really anything like this before that kind of brings us together. I don't usually even like to be on these videos because <laughs> it's just, I don't like to be on videos. Probably normal. I don't know. Um, but I did want to get on here and just say like, that I'm here going through this with you and I'm in Utah, which is in the United States and it's, um, it's a weird place to be right now because in other states, kids aren't going to school, people are still staying in and things are very restrictive. But in Utah, people are wearing masks, but a lot of the schools are still in sessions and there's so much space in Utah. It's, uh, you can go outside and not see anyone in many different places. And um, that has been something that's been really helpful for me. And I don't know what's been helpful for you going through this, but also just creating and having that outlet to just like, maybe you can't go out, but you could draw a picture, <laughs> you can paint. Um, but it's creating has been a helpful um, remedy for sadness or anxiety of uncertainty during this time. I don't know if that's helpful for you. Um, but I just thought I'd add it. This is why I don't usually film like this because I just ramble on and on. Um, but again, thank you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And uh, I would like to get to know my audience a little bit better. So in the comments below, um, let me know what you like to do, what's been helping you kind of make it through the pandemic uh, <laughs> alive and well. Um, and also, um, what you like to create and what you would hope to create if you could create anything. Because that's what I love doing. I love finding out what people want to do and then helping them get there. Like with art, with whatever. So anyway, have a wonderful day. And thank you for watching this really poorly made video. But um, I really appreciate you. And um, because of you just watching this, um, many people have been benefited. So thank you for that and have a great thankful Tuesday or giving thankful. It's not Thanksgiving, but <laughs> I am grateful for being able to give. So have a great day.